Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add U.S. Army topographic maps to Google Earth Pro. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you open up a Google browser and you type in U.S. Army map, you should come up with this link here as a result. Now we'll put this in the description down below, but it's the U.S. Army maps. It's a KMZ file. And it's brought to you by the University of Texas at Austin. So credit goes out to these folks for putting this together. So if I click onto this link, you'll see that it will download the KMZ file. Now I can simply click onto that file to open up Google Earth Pro. If you don't have Google Earth Pro, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you could download it. Then we could do is come up here to File, Import, and you might need to change the default file type to All Files, and then you'll see the KMZ file, which you could select and open. Okay, so let me just right click and delete that because we don't need two copies. Now, if we click on the checkbox, you will see this grid system. So it's globally. And what you could do is just zoom into your area of interest. Now these little turquoise boxes, this is gonna be the extent of the topographic map. And you can see that it's in a grid system. So if I were to click onto one of these boxes here in the middle, not this outside box, again, that's the boundary, but right here, you will come up with this pop-up and there's going to be a link to the map. And if I le left click onto that, the map will appear. Here's the topo topographic map. I can zoom in and I can pan around to see the topographic map. Now I can click on this button here to go back to Google Earth and I could check another area. Say we want to come over here to Paris. Again, I left click onto the center box here. This is the extent of the topographic map. I click on to map. And here's the topographic map. A little bit more about this. We have some directionals to nearby cities and towns. Let's come over here a little bit more. And again, here's the grid system so you can see what's neighboring around it. And if you folks wanted to open this into a separate browser, you could also click right here. It says open in Google Chrome and you can save it off. Now these topographic maps are usually within like five, six, seven megabytes. So they're very, very manageable to, to save off and share. So you can right click onto the map, say save as, and you can save as a JPEG. And something to keep in mind is that these images are not geo-referenced. So if you were to save out this JPEG and try to import into like a mapping software, uh, such as Avenza or QGIS, it's not going to geo-reference to the actual area. So I hope this resource helps you out. It's definitely a great uh, resource to have. And again, a lot of credit goes out to the University of Texas for providing this information to the public. If you guys have any questions, by all means, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit subscribe. I do put out videos quite frequently. And if you leave a comment on any suggestions, I'll be glad to make a video about that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.